Waterjet is. Waterjet is based in Arvangen, Switzerland. The company was founded in 1989. Its main objective was to become a service provider of water jet cutting technology. By 1992, we were operating a fleet of four water jet cutting machines. In 1994, we acquired an old industrial building in Arvangen and installed our equipment there. That was also the time when we made the switch from 2D to 3D technology. We have since become a world-leading high-tech company for water jet cutting. Thanks to an undivided focus and our in-house research and development department, we have grown into an international competence center for water jet cutting. In 2000, we started developing our own water jet cutting technologies, concentrated around micro and precision cutting. Here too, we currently lead the world. Today, we cooperate with research institutions in Switzerland and abroad, with whom we've completed a number of interesting projects, such as the ConformJet project, sponsored by the EU. Conformjet is the name given to a technique for producing freeform surfaces and to a self-learning control system. 3D surface abrasion using high pressure abrasive water jet technology. Engraving the footprint. The first step is to abrade what is known as a footprint from the material to be worked. The important thing is to establish conditions identical to those which will be employed for removal later. That means using the same water jet, focusing tube, abrasive medium, pressure, machine, and so on. optical measurement and analysis of the footprint. Having created the footprint, it is surveyed using an optical measuring device called a chromatic white light sensor. A separate industrial computer records the data and saves it to a file. That file undergoes further processing to filter out noise and other interference, thus making it possible to determine the footprint average, which is to say the average depth, breadth, and profile as surveyed along its entire length. Now it is clear just how much material is abraded by the chosen configuration. Generating the desired 3D abrasion program. Once the footprint exists, it is ready for loading into CAD CAM software, where it serves to calculate the feed rate and coordinates required to abrade given quantities of material. There are two ways to create the milling program itself. Either convert a high-resolution image, such as the ConformJet logo, into a 3D file, or scan an object and convert that into a file. In this case, the process operates in exactly the same way as creating the footprint, with optical surveying and post-processing of the results. Having created the removal map, 
it remains to define the size and form of the workpiece to be machined. With all of the necessary data available, footprint, removal map, and the workpiece, the machining parameters can be set. Pressure, feed rate, offset between abraded lines, cutting direction, and so on. And from those established parameters, it becomes possible to create the CNC file. Checking the abraded surface, upcoming development. 3D abrasion can be checked by optical surveying to produce a comparison of the actual and desired state. This is a self-learning and self-adjusting process that adapts the CNC program to deviations as and when they occur. Control box. As mentioned already, this is a purpose-built industrial computer. The control box serves both as a data recorder and to monitor the abrasion process. It operates through various windows, depending upon the application. The software presents a real-time diagrammatic display of data as it is being recorded. Key tools and techniques. Explanation of the visuals. Metrology for recording optical data. Acquisition for recording acoustical data. Control, user interface for monitoring the machining process. Visualize, visual representation of recorded data. In closing, on behalf of the Waterjet Group, I would like to thank each and every one of the project partners. In particular, the University of Nottingham and Professor Axinte for their energetic support in this undertaking. Much gratitude is also due to the EU for having financed the entire project. Thank you. <laughs>